Germany needs fast trains. In the coming years, roughly 1,000 kilometers of new rail lines for Germany's high-speed intercity express trains will have to be built. How else to get more citizens to drive their cars less and use trains? And shifting freight from trucks to trains will also help Germany become climate neutral. But there is a fear of both noise pollution and scars left in the landscape, which often leads to protests against new rail lines. To increase acceptance among the population, which should shorten planning and construction times, engineers developed the low-impact railway system, a completely new construction method for ICE routes, a green belt of mobility that connects cities and regions. The railroad is encapsulated in tubes. It can run without any major impact on the landscape. And without generating any additional noise. During construction of a low impact railway, machines excavate the soil to a depth of around four meters and a maximum width of 17 meters. The topsoil that has been dug up is placed on one side of the planned track and the subsoil on the other. The soil stays put and there are no costs to remove it. This also means the valuable soil can be put back on the same spot when construction is finished. Next step, tracks are laid along the length of the excavation pit, using either conventional methods or with the help of precast concrete elements. After that, the rail line is encapsulated. A train with several flat cars travels on the new rails to the construction site. Directly behind the locomotive is a specialized robot. The robot stabilizes itself on both sides and places one half of an arch right next to the track. A purpose-built gripper fastens the concrete part. Then the robot positions the second half of the arch. The two parts of the arch buttress each other. Two precast elements can be erected in one step. The elements are two and a half meters long. The train then moves the robot back a bit. And the construction process starts all over again. The advantage of the low-impact railway system is that no additional construction sites are required along the line. Construction logistics are much simpler compared to conventional construction methods. The bisected arches are made of concrete in a factory with a rail connection. Industrial production allows for high quality and efficient manufacturing. Once a freight train is loaded up, it can immediately travel to the construction site. But industrial production also has other advantages. The components could already include brackets for overhead lines, as well as signals and signs. This simplifies and expedites further construction of the track. In addition, there are components with recessed doors for emergency exits. Once a section is completed, construction vehicles spread the soil that had been dug out over the concrete arches. The topsoil is of course spread as the top layer. The result is an elongated elevation about 30 meters wide and about three and a half meters high.
A few years after construction, the low-impact railway can barely be recognized in the landscape. Only the emergency exits indicate that there's a traffic route here. Wild animals can pass over it without a problem. In addition, a bike lane could also be built on top of the low-impact railway, allowing it to accommodate even more traffic. On the sides, there is space for solar cells or fruit trees. The new traffic route could also be used for grazing purposes. Crossing smaller paths and even larger roads is not a problem. The low-impact railway can run in the immediate vicinity of towns and cities without noise pollution and without severing existing neighborhoods. This reduces conflict, which in turn speeds up approval procedures. Once a critical section has been passed, the route can also run open again. An open stretch of track requires bridges or tunnels in order to be crossed. In a narrow valley, low impact technology could also be used. In general, this leads to greater planning freedom. Shorter routes become possible and in certain cases, tunnels become superfluous. Construction costs of the low-impact railway system are only one-fifth of those of a conventional tunnel. It takes around 20 years from planning to completion to build an intercity express line. The low-impact railway will significantly speed up this process. This will result in a faster shift of passengers and freight traffic to rail lines, which will save CO2. Greater amounts of concrete are, of course, necessary compared to conventional construction methods, but the CO2 that was generated would be offset after around two years due to less traffic on roads. The low-impact railway system enables the rapid construction of green belts of mobility. And these can make an important contribution to Germany's climate neutrality. <laughs>